So this video is to complement the earlier video on running the CRZ without any IMA. So if you completely remove all the IMA uh, stuff in the back, battery, controllers, etc., the whole assembly, and you're just left with the void and the IMA motor wires, uh, then you can do something like this. Now this is uh, the DC power supply which I've mentioned before. It's a switch mode power supply and it can run on DC as well as AC. You can see this is a Meanwell HP 615 and it puts out um, 0 to 15 volts well, at, at uh, about 45 amps. So, so that's enough for most sort of general usage of the 12 volts. So uh, what we have here is we have the three phase uh, to one phase rectifier. So basically all you do is you connect these three wires to the three motor phase wires that come back from the IMA motor and that is the high voltage input into the um, DC to DC converter stroke power supply. Now I've got it mounted on this um, aluminium heatsink because this is from the uh, Honda Insight that you saw uh, the, in the earlier video but you don't have to do that. You could actually just mount the power supply itself straight onto the wall of the IMA space in the back and what I've done in the past is I've actually bolted that to the top cover of the power supply with some heat sink uh, heat transfer compound to transfer the heat to the cover of this there is a fan in the power supply so to do that you'd have to take the cover off with only four screws drill a hole and then mount the three phase rectifier onto there and then that makes it all nice and compact and then the cooling obviously cools the rectifier as well but i've got it mounted on this big heat sink assembly that's just how it was from the inside. So the only thing, I, other thing really I mentioned was the uh, relay. Now this is a relay to stop any parasitic drain uh, when the car is off. And this, so this relay only turns on when the ignition is on. And that connects the 12 volt battery to the power supply. So all we've got is we've got two leads from the output of the power supply. We've got the positive lead, which goes to the positive lead, which goes up to the front of the car and the 12 volt battery. And a negative lead, which just goes to the chassis anywhere near uh, where we are now to provide the earth chassis uh, connection. So the relay is just a single pole changeover, 70 amp capability, and it's a 12 volt relay. There's a diode, free wheel diode between the coil, cross the coil to stop any flyback um, EMF uh, extra voltage when you turn the ignition off. And it's basically one wire, uh, the negative side of the coil is connected to the negative side of the output of the power supply which is basically the chassis so then we have the one wire and uh, this is the IMA harness in the car so if you've unplugged the IMA and taken all the IMA away you'll be left with this harness underneath the uh, subwoofer in the corner and you just basically uh, connect to this light blue wire here there's pin four of the small pins on the top row and I've just used a sill um, single inline 0.1 inch standard uh, dip pin connector it's just a little pin and you can push it onto the fourth pin now I can't see what I'm doing now but you just push it onto the fourth pin there and that will uh, let me just do that now actually while I'm doing it so there we are so that just fits onto there so there's no cutting the harness involved there and that is an ignition switch 12 volt so when you turn the car on the relay is powered the supply is connected to the uh, battery and uh, it's all ready to go um, it probably provide um, some output a tick over I have not tested this yet my plan is just before I put in the Frankenstein pack once I've taken out the nickel metal hydride pack from my test car I am going to put this in and I'll do a quick video showing you it working in the car so that you can see it working and uh, in operation I'll drive it around a bit um, the MOT unfortunately has run out of my car at the minute so it's going to be a week or so before I can get that sorted out so I can't take it out for a drive at the minute I'm not quite ready to pull out the um, uh, pack yet to do the Frankenstein 30 kilowatt conversion but this will be an intermediate step it'll only take an hour for me to demonstrate this and then I'll take it straight back out again um, so I will demonstrate this shortly and this is the method of running the car without any IMA and without having to fit an alternator at the front. Now obviously if you do use this because you've disconnected the IMA um, there'll be a plethora of codes etc on the display and the car may have some sort of reduced functionality I've not tested that um, but it will charge the 12 volt battery so it is possible to run the car uh, like this um, until you basically get fed up with it or you get round to fixing the battery etc and restoring it to its full normal operating uh, setup. 
So this is just a temporary solution or solution for somebody who's got no money, etc., or can't afford to get it fixed. Um, but you know, it, it can work, and it certainly has worked in the Insight and the Civic, etc., and some of the other IMA cars. But of course, with the later IMA cars, certainly the CAN bus, you do get codes on the uh, dash, and so you can't pass emissions or MOT, etc. But as a temporary measure in between those times, then it can work. So there we are. Hopefully that's useful. I'll do another quick video once I finally get the um, uh, in, for, get it installed, and I'll show you what's what and it actually working in the car.